welcome back to my channel today I'm just going to be doing a quick video on um, basically sharing with you a wedding gift that I made for a friend that is getting married today actually and I'm just between her ceremony and the reception and just finishing up her wedding gift so um, this is the card that I made for her and this is my what I call my go-to kind of card layout so I do have a video on that which um, talks you through like the size and what I cut all the paper pieces down to if you're interested in that so I'm going to leave that below and it's one of my easel cards so you learn how to make that as well so um, this is you know quite standard for me I tend to have some kind of image in the middle and then I always want to add charms these are so cute I have a few more of these bride and groom um, charms which I love so much and I'm going to be sad when I run out but so far I have a few more to use so so basically it just stands up and it says congratulations on the inside and um, I'll just zoom out so that you can see it better. So yeah, it's just like an easel card like that and um, you know, it stands up and then I usually have just something that explaining that it's an easel card and how they can stand up and then I, I'll write my sentiment here. So that is the card. And then what I'm going, what I wanted to do is I am, she sent me one of her engagement photos. So um, it's this one and I wanted to do a layout and her, co her colors for her wedding are red. Um, and she just loves the color red. She's always wearing a red nail polish and um, she just loves the color red. So um, I decided to add that into this theme, even though this is not her wedding um, photo, it's her engagement photo. So this is just a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And what I'm gonna do is I um, embellished it. And, and this is called the For Always paper pack with Close to My Heart. And then I have several different flowers from different companies that I used on the layout. And what I'm going to do with this layout is I'm going to put it in a, one of our new shadow boxes. So we have these new 12 by 12 shadow boxes that it re will recess back into. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show a um, photo of this layout inside the shadow box so that you can see how it all comes together. So thank you so much for popping up by my channel. And until next time, happy crafting. Thanks. Bye-bye.